Let's just take a ride along the bay We don't need to work, we can sit around and play I've been waiting for so long to get away Baby, don't hold Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to another video Welcome back you guys or if you're new here, my name is Amelia Elegant and I film videos with my family But anyways besides the point in today's video if you already couldn't tell by the title I finally renovated the house and not only did I end up renovating the house But I also furnished the house to its 100% and what I mean by 100% is all the rooms and bathrooms are filled up so when I first when we first moved in here, I want to say about three months ago, there was around two bathrooms that weren't finished and a whole guest room that wasn't finished and a whole other living room that wasn't finished and the backyard wasn't finished and etc. So that means that the house wasn't at its 100% full potential. But today, I bring to you guys our fully furnished elegant mansion tour. Yada yada. I'm going to go ahead and cut this intro very short so I can get straight into the video because it's a very exciting video. I love personally making these videos because I love making tour videos and so yeah if you end up enjoying this video please consider subscribing it is totally free as well as commenting down below any of your ideas or what was your favorite part of today's video so for the outside we still have mike and josh here being our security guards but what did change from the outside was that we added our house number i know i probably just put that all over the internet right now but um it's okay we're in a gated community so yeah pretty much from the outside nothing changed let's go so nothing from the outside really changed besides the backyard, which is literally like one or two objects. But let's go ahead and go into the foyer in the front area. Of the house. So as soon as you're going to step into the elegant house, you will be greeted with a welcome mat with like flowers and spring and summer vibes. Simply because of the fact that I, for this renovation, I kind of made it a little bit more beachy type of vibes for the summer, you know, because summer is like right around the corner. Summer is here. My bad. But let's open these beautiful, big, heavy, golden doors. Yes, they're made out of gold. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can already tell some differences, but if we look to my left, we have a place here that you can basically sit down, take your shoes off, put some shoes on, and etc. I did this because I want a new rule in the house, which is no shoes in the house, because literally the kids, they come in with their shoes all dirty, and next thing you know, there's footprints all over the wood, and guess who has to clean it? Me. And I'm like, you know what? Hold on. Let me add this. And also because the house looked very empty from the entrance. Like I always say, a house is not a house without a big mirror, or at least an elegant house is not a house. Not an elegant house without a big mirror. So obviously, I added our big, beautiful mirror here. I also decided to add a lot of plants into this house, just because the house looked very bland without green and it was just white and blush colors and like pastel colors and i was like absolutely not that's why i decided to add some plants on the other side of the foyer entrance type thing i all i did was add like a coat hanger like thingy and that's pretty much it nothing has really changed besides just me putting my car keys in there and my sunglasses that's pretty much it for the foyer and the entrance let's go ahead and go into some more bigger renovations nothing in the office changed the office is exactly the same but what did change was our laundry room i don't know if you guys remember we had an empty room and i said that was gonna be our laundry room let me just say the laundry room is literally my favorite laundry room ever in any of my past houses i've always had like a laundry room but this laundry room is just perfect and let me show you why so this is the new elegant laundry room and i am in love with it everything isn't in walking distance like the washer and dryer here and then like we also have i decided to calm down with the pink type of theme so i added a black sink trust me i was gonna turn that pink but i didn't but the reason i say i love this laundry room so much it's because everything is just here like you have your laundry detergents your towels so much storage that like look you guys these cabinets are empty because like we have so much we have so much space for like a laundry room not only that we also have a beautiful view and like here's where the kids like the kids chore chart will go here and also like we have room i just love it so much because it's just so organized and like so minimalist and as you guys know i love keeping my house it's very minimalistic but also clutter but not a not a lot of clutter you know the laundry room wasn't the only empty room we also also had a very big empty space that i did not know what to fill it up with so i decided to go with a little hangout spot this is the hangout spot i decided to go with i made this because our main living room is literally across the world you have to take a whole airplane to get there i'm just kidding obviously not but like it's very far away it's a very long distance from 
from like the foyer so i decided that maybe our family living room should be only for the family and for guests they could come in here if they just want to chat or just chill or just read a book or do anything in general instead of taking them across the whole entire house you know not only did i add this but i also added a bar slash juice area here's for more of my friends obviously the kids aren't really allowed to be here but i just decided to add this because why not it looks nice <laughs> and it was very last minute also but i do love the detail here and it's amazing i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the backyard because literally nothing really changed from the backyard so for the backyard i just decided to add this little table here with a grill for future carne asadas i don't know if you guys know what that means but basically like a barbecue and just family cookouts here as you make your way down these stairs you will see a little picnic um like blanket here and that's pretty much it all i added for the backyard all right you guys so we made it to my favorite part of this entire house my favorite bathroom out of all the bathrooms i ever had i do love some nice beautiful big spacious bathrooms but i also love a walking distance bathroom and let me show you what i mean by that this is my favorite bathroom and no kids are allowed in here no one else is allowed in here this is uh, my bathroom excuse me to get to one place or another place all you have to do is like take one step like if i want to go to the toilet hold up that's two steps but see in less than two steps you're at the toilet i don't have to take a whole airplane to get to my toilet or to get to my shower or to get to my sink everything is just like right there and i love it so much because it just feels cozy but it also feels like beachy you know what i'm trying to say at least in my eyes and in my opinion like i said i decided to calm down with the pink type of blush type of color so by adding a black sink with this type of wood color it just looks amazing all right guys please don't get mad at me but i did end up changing the dining room <gasps> Not only did I end up changing the dining room, but I also ended up changing the kitchen. Okay, to be fair, I felt like the person didn't feel like the previous kitchen was not it. It was okay temporarily for temporary kitchen, but for a permanent kitchen, it definitely was not it. And when I do my renovations, I always love to change something from the kitchen and the dining room. So for the dining room, all I did was just change the chairs. And for the kitchen, I'll show you guys what I did. So for the dining room, I literally left it exactly the same, but the only difference is a chair. The table is exactly the same. I have the same flowers for the centerpiece. Alrighty, you guys let's move on to the kitchen renovation and i just want to say that the previous kitchen i didn't feel like i could actually cook something it didn't really feel that homey it more felt like a vacation home but let me just tell you guys this brand new kitchen this brand new renovated kitchen i am in love with it and it's one of my favorite kitchens i've ever built in my entire bloxburg life <laughs> so let me show you guys how it exactly looked like this is our new kitchen so for our new kitchen i decided to keep my pink coffee maker machine because i mean excuse me i need to have something pink still the i used to have an arch here for the sink but unfortunately i i decided to knock it down and just literally put cabinets on it it looks way more cleaner and simpler stove and oven are now on uh, against the wall not on the island anymore and our fridge is still empty but the reason being our fridge is still empty is because i want to do a grocery shopping with you guys very very soon our island we just added a a dishwasher machine because we didn't have one and let me tell you a funny story about these chairs i went to target a random day to look for some chairs right and i found these beautiful chairs and i was i instantly fell in love with them only thing is that they had four of these chairs in stock and i needed five with four it would have looked okay but it looked too, like missing something so i literally went to i searched everywhere i called every store none of them had them but one target that was two hours away from here so i literally drove two hours away from here to go get another chair at the end of the day it was very much worth it and i love these chairs these are my favorite chairs that i've ever owned i also fit we also finished building our pantry it's not filled yet again because i want to do a grocery shopping with you guys so you guys can see what type of food i get my kids and just in general we eat it's basically how the pantry will look like just imagine it's filled up and beautiful and all organized but don't worry guys i'll definitely be organizing it and filling up very very soon moving on to our car garage all i have in there right now is my porsche the kids are outside right now they're i don't know london took them somewhere so the jeep is not in here as you make your way inside all i really did to the garage since we're never really in here besides just to get our cars and leave i decided to just put some storage areas here for car parts and you know stuff like that and some beautiful blue neon lights i loved it so much james suggested it and i was like obviously yes let's do that and we just basically have random stuff in here that it doesn't really like it's not like wow oh my gosh the only thing wow here is my porsche but the rest is just like it's literally just there because it needs to be there like and we need storage you know so we cannot complain about not having storage anymore because there's a lot of storage in here but that's pretty much it for the garage okay guys so to complete the first floor renovations our last stop is the gym for the gym we just decided to just change the machines and upgrade them to better advanced machines because our old machines were kind of broken but let's go ahead 
and go inside and show to show you guys so basically all we did was just change this machine we added some new mats we added some dumbbells you know and we obviously had to replace all of our treadmill machines because they were all broken and we also replaced our punching bag and that's basically it for the gym room area everything's the same but we will be adding more everything's basically the same but in the future we will be adding way more new machines and stuff like that for better gym videos so let's keep going i think i'm gonna start calling you guys my besties because you guys are literally my besties but anyways besties that was the first floor renovation tour complete now we're gonna go to the second floor renovations to show you guys what i've changed make our way up these stairs all i have here is because funny story i was walking around with a hammer and um i made a dent in the wall so we i just had we just had to improvise and i just decided to make a whole cutout in the wall and this is what i came up with so yeah another space that was empty was this little corner here and i decided to just fill it up with the hangout spot not only that but you also get a beautiful view from here me saying beautiful and you can see the ga gas station from here oh my gosh but anyways besides the point it's i love it so i don't know if you guys know but amelia always has to have her big closet in one of our in our elegant mansion like our big one our favorite one which for, unfortunately got burned down amelia had a house literally she had a i had had a house built separately for just my closet because of how much clothes i have and blah blah, blah yada yada besides the point all of that got burned down so obviously i don't have all that much clothes anymore and i don't have my beautiful big closet no more or the beautiful house i used to live in what well, we used to live in so and then i got myself thinking wait a minute amelia doesn't have her big closet in this house how could i possibly make that happen i remember we had one extra empty room here which was going to be turned into a studio type room for like you know editing and stuff like that which now it got me thinking i should maybe turn the makeup room into a studio because look at what i did to my closet so first of all obviously i have to have a big i had to have a big heavy transparent door here because why not the handle is made out of gold you guys <laughs> but anyways this is my closet um we have a beautiful display here with clothes and you guys are wondering what the rest of my clothes is at i have it like in a factory not a factory it's a, like a warehouse because of just how much things i have in there so i only bring the clothes like new clothes that i bought you know but besides the point um yeah i have my beautiful closet here not only that i don't know if you guys know but london has a beautiful vanity and i always go into her room early in the mornings or late at night just to get ready or get unready and i realized that that is her vanity i can't be doing that 24 7 so i decided to leave her with her own vanity but create my dream vanity and let me show you guys how my dream vanity looks like this is my dream vanity literally exactly and perfect the chair i was fighting for at target i got it again and you guys when i tell you i am in love with this like literally beautiful and i cannot wait to just like start videos here like oh my gosh i also have these little like storage areas here for like you know extra hair products and like you know random stuff not only that i do get some beautiful sunlight here obviously early in earlier in the morning i get more sunlight here because because the sun is hitting the front of my house but right now the sun is hitting the back of my house let's move on to the last two rooms this is our second guest room and i did read a lot of your guys's comments in our first ever house tour of our new house and a lot of you guys were saying that maybe i shouldn't add too much pink or add this or like something for james you know and i definitely do agree with you guys i did go overboard with the pink but i decided to make this guest room a little bit more like a cave let me show you guys so this guest room is literally was not it's not like done but like it's okay for a guest room because you know a guest can come in here with the luggages and put everything they got to put away and store the things away you know and their belongings so i literally just decided to keep it nice and simple all i really did was just add a bed and a platform on the bed and just like you know just like a very nice place to just like if you were to come visit our house for a day or two this would be a very good space for you you know but i'm also thinking of changing this room into a like studio room but i think i'm gonna end up changing the makeup room into like a studio room who knows what i do don't question what i do but you know all right you guys let me show you my second favorite bathroom in this entire house i'm leaving the big bathroom for the kids they can have that one this is my personal second favorite bathroom in this entire house and let me show you guys how it looks again it's literally walking distances and it's not as big and it's not as small oh my gosh i'm sorry my voice <clears throat> i don't know if you guys can tell i'm literally screaming because my voice is like not working right now but besides the fact that i'm literally losing my voice because i love screaming um this is basically our bathroom and i love it so much like the detail in here and it's very simple but it just like feels homey you know i love it so so much and i just want to say thank you to me for building this beautiful house <laughs> anyways let's go on let's move on also something has four outlets oh my god i'm so happy happy it has four outlets literally been wanting a bathroom with four outlets because we just have a lot of things to i need a plug in but unfortunately besties that is the end of today's video i really do hope you guys did enjoy it i just want to give a huge shout out to you guys for literally you guys are the motivation 
you guys keep me going like literally i would have never thought i would be building these types of houses and i would even still be playing blocksburg but because of you guys i always find some motivation to build renovate houses and just continue recording and editing videos and uploading for you guys i know i'm not as active i used to be but I, trust me i'm literally trying to get active and i know i've been trying to say that for like the past three four seven months past year but i really am trying but there's just sometimes things don't go according to plan and this video i actually had to film it twice because the first video was not it my energy was not there um there was so much noise and i just could not do it and i was like no 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 they deserve a better video so it's okay so i'm gonna take my time and post the perfect video for them so yeah so thank you guys so much for the motivation you guys give me and just all the love and support you guys been showing me like literally thank you without further ado i do also want to say that we're so close to 100,000 subscribers which is actually like super duper crazy like we're closer than ever ever before and that's been one of my dreams for a long time for many years since i was a child literally so i just want to say thank you guys so much for getting me to this point in my life and for opening so many beautiful opportunities for me and i really hope and wish the most for you guys the best i wish all success for you guys and the best lives ever i also do want to mention that i did also i also launched my first ever coloring book basically called cloud goods you can find it linked in the description first link in the description we ship internationally i just want to say thank you guys so much if you guys love coloring books just like i do and i find that coloring books help me concentrate better make sure to check it out link in the description the first link in the description and this coloring book was made to help you guys get better at building or making your own choices and stuff like that because i personally when i started building i did not know what color would go good with this and that so i would take a paper and markers and see which colors look best with what so with this coloring book you guys have full control of what colors you want to make the wall the chairs the beds the ceiling the rugs the floor you guys have full control over everything so yeah make sure to check that out i really really appreciate it if you check it out but without further ado that's pretty much it for today's video i love you guys all so much and i'll see you guys next time bye clouds